Good morning, good morning, good morning, morning, morning. Good morning. Hello, Parkers. Well, Gentry's going to be like, Mom, let me show you how to do this. Yes, yes. <laughs> I'm old now. I need the kids to use my technology for me. <laughs> oh, oh, when I started using the slides on Zoom for the kids in the morning, I had to have Hadessa teach me how to do it in Google Slides. I was like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know how to use Google Slides either. I barely know how to use Google Docs or whatever it is for the paper or stuff. Yes. When we had our homework, I had to do these slides, and she was like, I don't know how to do yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I used to know technology and then I had kids. Oh, so. I don't. <laughs> you guys got your sticky notes? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, made it, got them at the dollar store yesterday <laughs> when I was there. That was my first store trip since uh, the 13th of March. Oh, man. It's a little bit weird. Maggie, what you eating? Cereal? Fruit Loops? <laughs> Hi, Carol. Hello. How is everybody? You hey. look all gussied up today. Uh oh, what happened? <laughs> Ooh, Hi, Bailey. Hey. Why can't we see Bailey? Bracken, we can't see you. <laughs> oh, you can't. Um, you can't. You can't. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm going to give everybody a couple minutes to log on. There you are. It always does that one time to win. But when you do that, everybody can see it. But I want to see everybody. We hear you, Brady. Is that Brady that I hear, or is it Jensen? Oh, I think it's Brady right now. Right here, right here. For now. <laughs> Hi, Courtney. Hey. <laughs> Bracken, do you have sticky notes today? Uh, no. Yes, you do. Your mom's holding them up. <laughs> and they're really big. Is that okay? Well, I thought about getting really big ones, too, just to make sure everybody knew it didn't have to be any certain size. But Because I've got tons laying around our house. <laughs> this was all... Not that much. There wasn't that much. Well, I, I've got Rob's bulletin board planned out for next year already, and it involves post-it notes, so I went and got them. Man, a you ready for next year? Well, I mean, <laughs> that's if it happens. <laughs> <laughs> they had a case, uh, I guess someone came in contact that I don't know if you guys know ours cafe, but it's like right down the street from us. And so since someone came in contact there, they shut down all the well, out for next week. So fun. Mm. Mm. We need school to start on time and normally. <laughs> yeah. They said they're gonna try to do all the fun stuff that we missed at yeah. the beginning of the year. That's what our teacher said. Wait, they won't see you guys, not me. So get out of the camera then. <laughs> oh, I feel the love. Please log in on. Oh, buddy. <laughs> I just see someone's thumb. I don't know who it is, though. Brady and Jensen together, let them just yell. They're hurt content. <laughs> That's Trayson. I was like, who is it? Hey, Tracen. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Whoa. What is he pulling your shirt? Dude, come on. Mom is having like technical difficulties this morning. All right. Bailey, do you have your post it notes? Maggie, Grant, Tracen, do you have post it notes? <laughs> See if your, mom, your mom's a teacher. See if she's got one somewhere. <laughs> she's at Nana's. There you go. Oh, well, see, look, I see post-it notes. Good job. Yay. Yay. 
All right, it's 9.50, I guess. We should get started. All right, so hey guys. I'm Nikki. I don't know who's with Tracen, but you probably don't know who I am. So I'm they're your cousins. Hi, cousins. <laughs> so we're so glad you're here today in our virtual <laughs> jump. So we are definitely going to have some fun together. So all month long, we have been talking about what, guys? You remember? What have you been talking about? <laughs> Determination, right? Determination is deciding it's worth it to finish what you started. Right. So there are lots of times in life when we can feel stuck, right? And we like, especially during this coronavirus era, we feel stuck at home. So we get frustrated or annoyed. We feel like giving up instead of finishing what we're supposed to do. So, um, in those times, God can help us find determination. He can help us get unstuck, right? So, I've got one more super fun sticky game for us to play today, and it's an all play. Everybody's going to play. So, what you're going to do with your sticky notes is, however old you are, well, I want take however many, how old you are. If you're like, okay, Ruben just turned seven. You get seven sticky notes and put all over him. All right? So start doing that. Have a chin. All right. Here you go. Now I got the laptop. Okay. I get seven sticky notes, babe. I'm almost there. I'm not because they're like, I'm almost. Okay, have you got sticky notes? I don't. However old you are, that's how many you're putting on. <clears throat> Put them on yourself? Yeah, you're putting them on yourself. That's the bottom of it. <laughs> oh, yeah, Jacob. <laughs> Put them on your mom's got you covered. <laughs> you're gonna want to stand up when you're done. Woo! You're like walking forward. All right, so when I start the music, everybody got their sticky notes on? There you go. When I start the music, you're going to have a minute without touching with your hands to shake it off. Shake it off. Get it? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So is everybody standing up with their sticky notes on? Stand up. Stand up. That's not standing. Stand. You're dropping them off of you. <laughs> All right. I'm going to get some music going. Hopefully you guys can hear it. Hold on. Go wait till she starts the music. Don't cheat. All right, on your mark, stand all the way up, Rebecca. Get set. You can't see. And go. Don't you take it off. Hand, Bailey. Take it. Take Some really sticky ones. Shake it off. Don't touch it. Shake. 30 seconds. I can't get them all. <laughs> Take your hair, man. Put that 
Michelle favor and I'm we're gonna get started with the story but first I'm going to mute everyone and then I will Michelle can you unmute yourself it won't let me unmute you okay maybe I'll just have to Okay, can you guys see the story? Hold on. There you go. You were on a pause for a second. You couldn't hear because they on Okay. All right, guys. Good morning. I hope everybody is doing well, enjoying this nice weather. Today, we're picking up God's big story with a man named Philip. And this is where it gets tricky. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, we're working. Sorry, technical difficulties. There we go. The church was growing quickly after people heard that Jesus died and came back to life. Philip had a job just like Stephen. The man we talked about last week, he had been chosen to help new believers who needed food or special care. Unfortunately, after Stephen was killed, the religious leaders became even more bold in going after people who followed Jesus. They were led by a young man named Saul. Saul was known for the terrible way he treated the followers of Jesus. Because of this, many new believers left Jerusalem and scattered. But everywhere they went, they shared the story of Jesus with the people they met. Philip traveled to a town in Samaria, where he told everyone about Jesus. He also made sick people well through God's power. But then an angel appeared to Philip and told him to go. <laughs> Go south to the desert road, the angel said. It's the road that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza. So Philip started on his journey. On the way, he met an Ethiopian official. Oh. A little tired. This man had traveled all the way to Jerusalem to worship God. On the way home, the official was sitting in a chariot. You can't see the chariot. You can't see the chariot? Okay. On the way home, the Ethiopian official was sitting in a chariot reading some of the writings of the prophet Isaiah. God's spirit told Philip to go to the chariot and stay near it. Philip ran up to the chariot and heard the man reading Isaiah's words. He asked the man if he understood what he was reading. The official said he needed someone to explain it. He invited Philip to sit with him. He shared the words of Isaiah that he was reading. He was led like a sheep to be killed. Jesus' lambs are silent while their wool is being cut off. He did not open his mouth. When he was treated badly, he refused a fair trial. Who can say anything about his children? His life was cut off from the earth. Acts 8, 32 through 33. 
the Ethiopian official asked Philip who Isaiah was talking about. Philip started with the scripture and told him the good news about Jesus, the one God had sent to rescue us. As they traveled along the road, they came to a body of water. Can you see the water? I can't see the water. Okay. The official was like, how could I get baptized? And he gave orders to stop the chariot. And then Philip baptized him in the water. Okay, it, it probably didn't look exactly like that, but you get the idea. When they came up out of the water, God took, God's spirit took Philip away. The official didn't see Philip again, but he went on his way full of joy. We can read in the Bible that Philip was seen next in the town of Azotus. He continued to travel around the world and tell people about Jesus. Both Philip and the Ethiopian official had continued to be faithful and look for God's plan, even when they couldn't see the full picture. And the story of Jesus continued to spread across the world. Do you think Philip might have had some questions when the angel showed up and told him to go on a trip? Um, I would have. <laughs> he probably did, but he kept going anyway. The Ethiopian official was reading the words of the prophet Isaiah, and he didn't understand who he was reading about. Do you think he probably had questions too? I know I have questions sometimes when I'm reading the Bible. We all have questions. But he asked for help when he needed it. We all have questions from time to time. With determination, we can keep going, even when we don't fully understand. Here's what we need to remember. Keep, keep going, even when you have questions. All right, and then we're going to pray. Dear God, there are so many times when we have questions and we're not sure about the answers. When that happens, help us to trust you. Help us to be brave enough to ask questions so we can try to understand just like the Ethiopian official did. Help us to keep going even when we can't see the whole picture. We love you and we ask it in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So the man from Ethiopia, oh, uh, I don't know if I could talk. The man from Ethiopia didn't understand what he was reading when he was riding in his chariot, but he didn't stop reading. He didn't stop asking questions. He asked Philip to help him understand. So it turns out the man was reading words from Isaiah that told about the Savior who was to come. Back in December, we talked about Isaiah and his prophecy that God would send a Savior. Jesus was the Savior God had promised. Where is he on the timeline? He is, well, there's the cross. Right on this timeline. Right there, that's Jesus. Oh, right here. Well, oh, right here at the top. So right here on the top, that was when he was the savior that was promised, right? Yes. So many years later, Philip would use Isaiah's words to help that Ethiopian official understand. And sure enough, the official wanted to follow Jesus too. So we can do this just like the man from Ethiopia. You can keep going even when you have questions. Don't be afraid to ask questions about God. After all, all of us have questions from time to time. Every single one of us has questions, right? God sees things that we can't see. He knows things that we can't always understand. When you try to understand something about God for yourself, you always make the wise choice, right? So if you don't understand, ask someone. You can ask a parent or grandparent, your small group leaders at church, when we get back to church, you can ask them or give them a ring on the phone. Um, someone else that you know that follows God, you can ask them. 
whenever you have questions, you don't keep them to yourself. God has put a lot of people in your life who can help you grow your relationship with him, right? So I'm, here's the Bible verse for the month. So last time, let us not become tired of doing good. At the right time, we will gather a crop if we don't go up. Galatians 6.9. All right. So I'm going to tell you about the challenge. Unfortunately, not all the kids did it. Um, but I will have a consolation prize for the ones that did do it. <laughs> it will come this week when we make our little drop-offs for you. So, but I'm not going to tell you what it is. Maybe if we do this slime challenge again, uh, I'll just say a num like a certain number of kids have to say the Bible verse and then we could do the slime type of thing and not everybody. I don't know. We'll figure something out. There will be plenty of time to slime me, which I'm sure you guys would love. So um, <laughs> look, they're like, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> next month, <laughs> one master. So I would just want to see somebody get slime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I have like a whole drawer full of slime. <gasps> Woo! Where now we know where to get slime, Nikki. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to make Miss Welty the host. If you have an extra device, go to kahoot.it. Do the lowercase Welty, Nikki. Okay, lowercase Welty. There you go. Thank you. It's coming. Hold on. Sorry. It doesn't say it yet, and there's water getting on the Mom, you need to clean up the water. There. There, there you go. One nine. One nine seven two three one four. There. There. That's not from that. That's This water is all over here. So it's. You on there? One nine seven two three one four. Seven, seven, two, three, one, four. What's the second one? Yep. You don't hit his face. Parker. Is that Bailey? I think. It's Bailey, Big B. Grant and Maggie, are y'all getting it? There's Maggie. Is that Grant? <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> Who's Big P.S.? No, what? What did you put that? Oh, like Big P's, like the Parkers? Yeah. Got it. Oh. <laughs> Got it. That's awesome. Is Trayson still on? Is he going to get on? I actually got the idea of, you, of my nickname from a YouTuber. <laughs> I don't think Trayson's on anymore. Oh, okay. Is that everybody? Okay. Let's go. I'll tell you questions you answer. It has to be. 
Yeah. Philip's job was to help people who needed what? Clothes, money, food, and special care, or a haircut? Which one was Philip's job? Good job, food and special care. Bracky in the lead by 20. Who was the young man known for the terrible way he treated the followers of Jesus? Jim, Saul, Peter, or Philip? The terrible way. Saul. Yeah, it was Saul. That picture was pretty gross, wasn't it? Saul. <laughs> Ooh, Hutch fam in the lead. On his way to Gaza, Philip met a man from what country? America, France, Madagascar, or Ethiopia? Yeah, Ethiopia. Good job. Hutch fam still in the lead. Come on, Brack. <laughs> About whom was the Ethiopian official reading? Was he reading about Harry Potter, Curious George, Jesus, or Miss Nikki? <laughs> that is the correct answer. Good job. I mean, I would like to read a book about Miss Nikki. Does anybody have one? Naomi, will you write one? <laughs> about quarantine with Miss Nikki? What did the Ethiopian official decide to do after Philip told him the good news of Jesus? Did he get baptized, build a church, run away scared, or get mad at Philip? Yeah, he decided to get baptized. The picture of the cannonball, because apparently that's how people get baptized. Oh, Hutch Bay, I'm still in the lead. Last question. Is your family getting out of church next week and it reopens? Yes? No? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Did you? Bracken picked yes, and that's not a correct answer. No, 100 is maybe 100. That wasn't, you didn't get that right or wrong. That was just a hole. <laughs> In third place, Maggie. In second place, Grant. Man, Maggie, good job. And in first place, the Hutch fam. Who was in charge today? Yeah, um, it said five. Yeah, I'm in like six. And I pressed I pressed pressed most of the job. Okay, Miss Nikki, you want to say? All right, we miss you guys so much. Carol and I will be dropping stuff off for you this week. So maybe you guys can wave to us if we knock on your door. <laughs> Brecken said bye. All right. See ya. Bye. 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 Bye.